Well, looks like it's going to get very noisy here tonight. So um, let's leave the balcony at Coolangatta and head somewhere quieter. Where are we going to go? I think Gucci Creek sounds pretty good. Gucci Creek it is. Let's go. Got the van and got some more beer. Got the wife. In one kilometre, turn right onto Boundary Road. Yes, Siri. One kilometre turn right. Yes, got the wife. Better take her. Who's going who's gonna to cook? That's exactly right. I do the cooking and the cleaning. That's how Mrs. Huckleberry rolls. Okay, so we're on our way. Uh, we left Coolangatta this morning. Beautiful weather. Oh, now heading away for a couple of days with the uh, Huckleberry Hound as well. Sam. Sam. Sam the Huckleberry Hound. So hopefully we'll have a lovely couple of days at uh, Gucci, Gucci Creek. We'll be going camping. Yeah, we're gonna go camping, Bubba. Huckleberry Hound's a little bit excited to be coming away camping. <laughs> Destination is on your right, Gucci Creek Escape. arrived here and uh, the office is closed unfortunately because we got here late but the, the staff here is so lovely her name is Nikki and she's left some fire with the back there very trusting she said just come up in the morning and pay so um, yeah it looks so far it looks great uh, lucky we don't have a wide van <laughs> yeah. and I wonder what the load rating is on this bridge do you think <laughs> soon find out What is this? Won't be diving, possible submerged objects. This is our billabong that we're sharing with other campers, of course. And here's our camp right there. How good? How good, Michelle? Lovely. I've got a wine now. I'm happy. She's happy. She's got a wine. And I have your beer. It's frothy. A frothy? A frothy. I'll get a frothy. Cheers. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Now we're happy. Mm. What are we having for dinner, Michelle? Well, I found these delicious things in Woolworths today. What are they? So they're barbecue brisket burgers. So it's got Hang on. Barbecue what? Uh, well, it's just burgers. Yeah. Burgers. And it's got, it's a whole kit. Yeah, so you get the bread rolls, you get the cheese, you get the meat, you get the sauce, and it's $16 for four. Oh, that sounds like a camping... Um, mm -hmm. 
camping wonder food. Yeah, this can be our local Woolworths. Excellent. Done. Yep. Dinner's done. Just popping up some floats so we can float around in the billabong here at Gucci Creek. Don't forget to bring some floats if you come into Gucci Creek. Enjoy the episode. Wandering Huckleberries. Again, going to go for a little bit of a swim. Can I push you in? <laughs> I so want to push him in. Nice, I want to see how you get out of there as well, Glenn. <laughs> oh, shit. I need a bigger tyre. <laughs> My tyre is too small. <laughs> Go for a swim. Oh, I'm in the billabong. You are in the billabong. Oh, 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 what was that? What? They said there's only one crocodile, but they said it was down that end. You're hilarious. Huh. Uh, Do you want a beer? <laughs> Where's Sammy? I'm getting. He probably wants to go for a swim as well. Things. Behind you, Sammy. Ben, being a child, wants to do a world tour in the billabong. Child? I've just come for a drive down the back of Gucci Creek. And, um, yeah, it's uh, obviously not Easter or anything like that because there's no one down the back. Lots of open area. And there's another little billabong behind me here. Down the back, uh, around the back of the property is the Mary River. So we'll have a look at that. And it's a working cattle property. So you've got Bertha, or oh, I, say I like to call her 207. And uh, young. You don't have a number yet? What's your number? Know. We'll call her Patty. Uh, this site's called, obviously, Sleepy Hollow, which is down by the Mary River. Not really flowing very much, but there's also a little billabong there, and you can sit in it, um, float in it, swim in it. It's quite a, uh, a neat little um, billabong. Not as big as the one we're at, but um, very tidy. Very tidy. Have another look. Excellent little hot water hole. And Platypus Corner. It's on a couple of little ponds where, if you're lucky, you might see some platypus. Haven't seen any yet. A bit of a telltale sign here about how high the river has got down here. So the river. It's just down here. Oh, it doesn't appear to have much water in it at the moment. That's where it is. And that's how high it's got. And so all this area obviously would have been underwater. All right, let's get back to camp. Have some breakfast. I'm with uh, Nikki at uh, Gucci Creek Escape Camping and um, it's a beautiful spot here. We're down by the Billabong. In fact, this Billabong is called Digger's Billabong. So Nikki, Digger's Billabong, has that got a story? Yes, it certainly does. So, um, well, going on three years ago, I lost my amazing dad. Um, he was my, my absolute hero. Uh, his nickname was Digger, so um, this property was Dad's, and um, yeah, so we wanted to, you know, do some sort of memorial and remember him. So yeah, this is where Digger's Billabong came from. This is one of his favourite spots. He'd come on the property. Um, yeah, so now it's a great place for all the kids to come and swim. And um, that's beautiful. I went for a fl uh, float around there uh, this morning. The yeah. water's really good. Yeah, so there's heaps of turtles in here, and we have a resident platypus. Um, 
yeah, and it's just a great spot for campers just to, to pull up and... And what are some of the other uh, camp areas called? Uh, we've got, further down this way, we've got Sleepy Hollow and Platypus Corner, which follow the creek, and the platypus is often seen down there as well. Uh, down to Wallaby Flats, which are really big, beautiful flat areas for large groups. And then down the very end, we've got Galloping Flats, which is great for horses, people who want to bring their horses and um, have some water down there for them to drink and swim and, and go up, you know, riding through all the bush tracks up over the um, mountain. Now, uh, Todd was telling me that you can accommodate quite a, quite a group when uh, you've got events and things on. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, we do have quite a few people come uh, for New Year's Eve, Easter and our uh, large weekends and we have live music um, and we get in food trucks and we have you know like a little mini carnival type thing and it's a great atmosphere with families and all the kids running around playing. And so there's a rodeo you're planning? We are, yeah. So we're just trying to lock in a date. Um, and hoping around the September school holidays. So yeah, keep an eye open on our Facebook page for further updates. Well, that'll be something. Yeah. And uh, behind us here, you've just come down to pick up the van. And yeah. this was, uh, we had uh, you had some guests in here last night. They hired the van from you. Yeah, so this is our um, elite family van. It's got bunks and a queen size bed comes with your barbecue, toilet shower, uh, everything you need. All you need to bring is food and your clothes. And even the chairs were here. Chairs, tables, pots, pans. Yeah, so it just makes it, you know, an easy getaway. These particular people that hired this for the weekend had friends staying just next door um, and they've ordered a new caravan. It wasn't ready in time and they didn't want to miss out. A Jawa, I believe. We were talking yeah. to them too. Yeah. yeah, so you've got camper trailers as well? Yes, we've got camper trailers. We've got about nine in the fleet now, um, all on our website. Uh, yeah, so we've got ones that are good for two people and then up to a family with four or five kids. So if you don't have your own van or your own camper, um, you know, they've got uh, got the uh, accommodation for you. Come and, uh, and check it out. It's, uh, it's quite awesome. We let uh, Nikki go because she needs to pack this van up and clean it up for uh, the next visitor. Yeah. Thank you very much, Glenn. And, yeah, thanks, um, Nikki. We'll, uh, we'll see you again real yeah. soon. Awesome. Cheers. Take care. See ya. Oh, well, it's Sunday and there's a bit of an exodus uh, today. Um, as you can see behind me, people packing up and, uh, and leaving us here at Gucci Creek. Well, that's fine because this is what we got. Who wouldn't like to camp around a billabong like this? And if you get here at the right time, you can be right up by the water's edge. If we had have, uh, if there hadn't have been somebody here yesterday, we probably would have been right here. That is a stunning little spot. Ah, tranquility. This is the opposite end of the Billabong where we camped at. It's just fantastic. On a day like today, uh, I'll float around there in my little inflatable uh, Big W tyre. Oh, remind me to get a better float. I need a better float. Yep. Yeah. Lilo. Yep. A lilo. No, no. Something like that. I'll yeah. <laughs> well, they got uh, men's and ladies' toilets here and showers at Gucci Creek. Um, all solar powered and uh, they're clean and there's uh, a few of them in there so you don't have to line up it's uh, plenty of toilets about four showers in each uh, each bunker or donger it is a bit of a walk from down around the billabong as you can see or you could be lazy because you took, brought everybody with you and uh, bring a car load up that's our billabong back there the toilets and showers are over there. This is a huge area. At Easter, all this is booked out, completely booked out.
no, no TV reception means no maths. No maths means unhappy wife. Unhappy wife means your camping is ruined. So anyway, the automatic satellite dish is saving me. As you can see, $3,599. It's a small price to pay. Um, rather than having a really unhappy wife. Not a good life. Get yourself one of these. You know who to call. There's a logo in the background. Cheers.